Are you using uh, hooks? Are you still old school and you write class components? I never write any class components anymore. Well, I mean, hooks, it is so, so much better in uh, every way. And I, I, after a year, I don't know. You can come to me with anything. I don't know anything that you cannot do in hooks that you were able to do in uh, class components, except error boundaries. But um, I mean, for error handling, I'm a bit too much of a hacker to uh, really re go back to class components just for that. Sebastian Lober was a great uh, React newsletter. It's in French, but actually I think even if you're non-French speaking, because at the end it's just some links and the titles, so it links to blog posts which are in English and I guess you can get the keywords. And uh, uh, so I think even if you're non-French speaking, you might uh, get value out of his newsletter. I think it's very good. He pointed out to uh, an issue on the... Um, the Flutter GitHub repository, which was very interesting about hooks in Flutter. Wow. The debate makes complete sense to me because, I mean, I assume, so in Flutter you have widgets, which are like components, right? And they are doing widgets, so you do class extends widgets, the same way we were doing um, class components. But it's component-oriented progr programming. It's not uh, object-oriented programming. And this is why we, we move to a mental model that is closer to to what we do with, with components. So the uh, object-oriented programming model didn't really fit with, uh, so for instance, the way we do composition, extensibility. We were not uh, using inheritance for components, but we were using compositions and so on. And so the debate makes sense. And... Uh, I guess it makes sense that, you know, if people build widgets in Flutter using classes, that maybe they are trying to figure out a, a model for components for widgets, which which makes sense. Uh, originally, the author of the issue was trying to get rid of uh, the boilerplate, some of the boilerplate you have to, to do in if you have complex widgets and so on. And Dam Abramov actually uh, jumped uh, into the discussion and he did mention that Hooks are not about um, getting rid of some boilerplates when writing components, but it's really about having, having a first-class uh, model in uh, your code to, to represent uh, components. And uh, so I'm not sure if we're going to see hooks in Flutter anytime soon, but I think it makes sense that um, the Flutter community is maybe trying to to think of some ways to, to build widgets which might be closer to, to the mental model that uh, widgets are. Yeah, I mean, I'm not so sure like how uh, how you render in uh, Flutter, but the, the whole idea of like borrowing um, ideas from other frameworks is, uh, I think it's really good. And in the end, we benefit all from it. Um, I think on the other hand, React Native uh, borrowed the the Flutter doctor command, and now you can do React Native doctor if you did not know, and it will um, perform a check. And also, I feel, you know, now that we get to use hooks, we, we cannot really go back. And we are trying to um, bring this idea into other languages, which is probably a, a sign that um, it is a good idea after all. And also, like, I want to throw in Swift UI in the mix. This is definitely, like, heavily inspired from React. So, yes, um, these features are being taken over to, or, like, carried over to other languages. And uh, it's all connected, and we should all love each other, right, isn't it? <laughs> and for sure, I mean, React has been influenced also by so many uh, libraries before it, and um, right? Absolutely. I mean, um, the the best way to make a uh, a new framework is probably is to like take a lot of uh, good ideas that already exist and uh, make it better. And maybe it's my uh, lack of imagination, but because I find the concept of hooks to be so fitting with uh, component uh, oriented programming, but maybe they come up with uh, even a more uh, powerful concept that we can uh, borrow from. Absolutely. I mean. 
who knows what is going to come. Uh, the future is going to look very different. It's going to transform as always. Um, how we are going to look back uh, at what we are doing now in, uh, is, uh, is going to blow our mind if we knew. Um, but so how GDP free uh, <laughs> is going to look at how we, <laughs> we used to do things. <laughs> no, no, it's going to laugh like crazy. I will not let GPT-3 uh, uh, do my abstractions. That seems like um, a slippery slope to do. So the interesting thing with uh, the class components is that you, so the model was not uh, super fitting and we had some limitations with the composa composability. But then if you take a developer who has no idea about components, who only knows about object-oriented programming, never seen React in his life, you know, at the end of the day, he sees a class and he kind of, uh, you know, understand what's, what is going on. If you show a developer a hook, because there's so many implicit states and implicit things happening and you show the hook, I think a regular developer who only know maybe about functional programming has no idea um, what what is happening, right? And I find it to be interesting that it's, it's its own uh, paradigm. Um, so you have ob uh, um, object-oriented programming, functional programming, and then you have hooks, which s to me seems to be its own thing. Oh yeah, I mean, there's something really nice about hooks, which is like, it's like this idea that you can just add one line of code to your component and it will solve one specific problem that, that you have. And it's like, uh, well, one intern at uh, where, where I worked, I like, oh, well, I have like this really complicated problem where I want to like prevent going back and uh, this navigation thing. And I was like, oh, there's a hook. And <laughs> and uh, uh, suddenly, oh, wow, okay, it's it, there's a hook, so it's easy. That's a great point that uh, also uh, Adam Abramov mentioned in uh, in the comment of the issue is that, so com he says component equals hooks plus return UI. And so since really everything is a hook, the level of composability you have and reusability you have uh, in your component is just an order of magnitude higher than if you use uh, class components.